Hey, what's up, peeps? This is Chico with uh, God TV. Um, this right here, this is a movie called Hilalgo. Uh, about when he's riding the horse. And the horse, yeah, there's a 3,000 mile run. Right here, I'm going to show you as an example uh, what happens when we go to God in prayer. When we call on the Mighty One. Now, in our human effort... People don't understand. People try to be strong in God. And that's not that's not what we're doing. You can't be strong in God. God is the source. So how are you going to be strong in electricity? How are you going to be strong in gas? How are you going to be strong in power? How are you going to be strong? You see, God is the connection. So it's at the end of our self. We got to plug into God. It's in union with Christ where we get power. It's not that we get power from God. It's that we in God and we are energized in God. And what happens is when that's the case, it's uh, actually not us doing it. Um, it. Paul says, when I am weak, then I am strong. You see, we have to come to the end of ourself. We have to be in humble submission, in a, in a state of surrender, in a state of absolute dependency on God. If you try your own, if you are using your own skill, your own weight, your own ability, then you're not going to use God's because God's going to let you handle it. God's a gentleman. God goes and he helps the weak. So it's when we're blessed for when we're weak. So we, we got to be weak and know that we can with God. Uh, God gave me a way to tell people, and it's like this. You, Jesus said that he, that it's like little children that, uh, that receive the kingdom of God, that you can't get into the kingdom of God unless it's by, but by uh, a little child, being a little child. And there, there's a few things there on a little child. Number one, a child's going to believe what what you tell him, he's going to be, and and the child knows his capabilities. So the child is going to be humble, and it's always going to be believing and trusting. So it's going to be trusting, always trusting mom, always believing mom, and it's going to be know its capabilities that it can't. It's already tried to turn on the light. It knows it can't turn on the light. It knows it can't drive the car. It so it's, it's so so the submission part is like a child. You want to go get some cookies at the store. You know you can't go to the store. But you know that mama, with mama, you can go to the store. You know that mama can't, mama can take you to the store. But you know that you can't drive the car and you can't go to the store by yourself. Because first of all, you don't know where the store is. You don't know how to get there. And you don't know how to, you don't got no money for to, to get the cookies. So what it is, is you knowing that mama can. You knowing that you can't, but mama can. And see, when you get to that point where you know that you can't, but mama can, then you're going to trust in mama and mama's going to do it. And that's what God is doing here. Look, so he's about to die. The horse is about to die. And look, this is what he does. I'm going to show you a few things what happens here. What happens is uh, you can either, the, 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 the example here is in prayer when we go to God and we get on our knees in humble submission. It's not really necessarily getting on our knees, but it's the humbling of our heart, the humbling of ourself, the going to of God is what does it. Okay, so that's one of the things. Another thing is when we fast. When we fast, we're doing spiritual war. These are one of the spiritual weapons that God gives us to fast and pray. So the fast and pray, so this is what you can say that he's doing here. But I'm going to show you a few things about it. So he's, the horse is about to die. So he went 3,000 miles. That's it. Horse is gone. So he got stabbed. It's drained. He knows it. He's trying to talk the horse out. He's using his own ability. He's trying to encourage 
by using his own ability. Trying to get the horse back up. Come on, baby. Come on. We've been through a lot. Come on. You can do it. Come on. He's using his own ability trying to get this horse up. Sometimes God has to let us know that we got to pray. Sometimes God has to let us know that we fast. But look, right here he knows for sure horse is dead. He's bleeding from the nose. So he knows that his ability, he's no longer there. So now he's at the end of himself. So now all he's thinking about, okay, forget the race. Let me just, uh, this is my brother. That's what he calls him, brother. So he's going to go ahead and end the horse. He looks. He says, wow, so far we're close. So he's going to go ahead and kill the horse. So now he's just giving some love to the horse, talking about a time. So he's about to kill the horse, and this is when God talks to him. This is when God will urge us, hey, child of mine, pray. Hey, child of mine, fast. Boom. That's when God notifies him right there. For some reason, he looks up, and this is when he gets a sign. He sees Indian spirits. So then that's when he gets it right then. He starts praying. Now, he's talking about Indians. I'm not talking about the movie. I'm just giving you a depiction of what we should do. See, he sees a sign from God. So then he starts going and talking to God right now. Like I said, This is his one-on-one communication with God. This is the most powerful thing that we've got. Is to call on the name of the Lord Almighty. Now I'm just showing you this in an example. Of course, he's praying. He's uh, Indian chanting. But I'm just showing you an example of what happens. And an example in what we should do. Fasting and praying or calling on the name of the Lord. He's going in deep, personal prayer with God. Praying in the spirit. Horse is dying. If it's not dead already. And then he hears from God. And God shows him something. This is what happens in prayer when we go deep. This is what happens when we fast. It seems like we hallucinate sometimes when we fast. It's because we're submitting the body and mind under torture. And it can't handle it. Our bodies and minds can just handle a certain amount before it breaks. And that's what fasting does. It submits the body and mind. Can you see it, cowboy? Now this guy, this guy's making fun of him because his horse is about dying. His, his horse is dying. You were defeated before this race began. And he knows he won that horse. And then all of a sudden, a miracle. The horse rises. And that's the power of praying to mighty God. You will not defeat me. And or fasting. He turns out winning the race. And it's only because of God. So that's the message. People of the 